So one of the discussion points that has come up with the release of the new KB Lake processors is the exclusivity factor of it being only able to run on Windows 10, something that AMD is also following in suit with, with their Ryzen CPUs. This video is going to be a live demonstration of sorts of me actually trying to install Windows 8.1 from a USB flash drive onto this test system to see what exactly happens when you try to put Windows 8.1 with the Intel Core i7-7700K CPU. So this whole mess of a system right here is just a quick and dirty test bench to get this video done to see what happens when you try to install Windows 8.1. We'll take it from there. I'm gonna stick the USB in and I probably have to format a drive, but this is more of a live video. So there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a little less polish on this video than normal. Best thing to do is stick this in the USB. That's good, power button. We're gonna cover this up with the live capture of what's going on on the computer screen. Sure, uh, need to enter into the BIOS. It doesn't, that's gonna be obvious. Either way, I win. See, that's the key to YouTube videos. You pretend like you know what you're talking about with the outcome at the end. You don't necessarily need to know it beforehand because through the illusion of video editing, you can make anything happen in the correct sequence of events. I honestly have no idea what's gonna happen. It kind of looks like it's working. Uh, it could fail randomly at any point. Um, there might, I don't, I honestly don't know what would happen. Please unplug the external drive and click OK following external drive and click OK. Done. Restart now. Everything seems to be going perfectly normally up to this point. Oh, I just realized I don't have a network cable. Um, here, let's call it cable. -like. Don't use express settings. Let's see. Um, task manager. Nope. Step. Stop it. Ah. Is it working? Uh, uh, let me download a benchmark, I guess. No. No, you install Chrome. Okay, benchmarks. Uh, Cinebench, it's a pretty decent one. It's open. Yeah, 7700K running at 4.2 gigahertz. I mean, a bit less now because it's not, um, 
know, don't choke her all the time. What? Okay. I was getting, I think it was like 914 on Windows 10. 9, 920. That's perfectly respectable. Um, what, what's the frequency? Yeah, 4.5 gigahertz. Does not seem to be an issue at all. Um, but at, I'm running Windows 8. Yeah. Everything is perfectly okay. Okay, so just reading an article from Ars Technica, it's mentioning that Windows, Microsoft mentioned for Skylake that after July 17, 2017, uh, Skylake won't be supported on Windows 7 and 8.1. Uh, but it mentions that KB Lake shouldn't be supported initially. Like there shouldn't be, there shouldn't technically be happening right now. Um, I guess it has to be enforced in a Windows update. The, Windows, I don't, I don't understand. It, it works perfectly fine now. Well, that, that Ars Technica article provides some interesting light. It appears that Microsoft might be patching for Skylake to not be supported on future Windows, with future Windows upgrades. However, um, just because this works now, I, I can't guarantee that Microsoft won't at some point patch this so that this doesn't work. But as of launch date january 3rd 2017 kb lake works perfectly fine on windows 8.1 i can't try windows 7 because i don't have a product key for that uh but yeah windows 8.1 running kb lake so i guess in install it at your own risk i mean there's not much that i i can honestly conclude is actually there's nothing broken like everything's working perfectly from what i can see um just know that it might become obsolete at some point and you might be forced to upgrade to Windows 10, uh, which is obviously not desirable. Uh, but you, I mean, you get DirectX 12. So the beautiful, beautiful API that is DirectX 12. Microsoft wants to make sure that you have it because you deserve it. How are you gonna play Gears of War without DirectX 12 on your Xbox? That's right. All right, guys, so that's gonna end it for this video. I, I, I don't even know why they were saying it. Like, I, I kind of need to go put an annotation in my, my initial KB Lake video mentioning when I mentioned that uh, it's only supported on Windows 10 because clearly it's, it's working perfectly fine. Like this video, guys, if, if you found it helpful, useful, enjoyable at all, dislike it if you thought it stunk. Um, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech-related content. More KB Lake content coming out in the near future. Other stuff that needs to be reviewed as well. Uh, hopefully hitting 10,000 subscribers soon so I can shave all of this off. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.